So I attached the goal to that, which is 10k a month. Welcome to the second video. I wanted to talk about what taking the jump means and what it can mean for you. For me, now I want to go to the next level. Going to Bali is the next big jump. It brings uncertainty. It brings doubts. It brings questions. Looking back, my first big jump was going on exchange. That's where my brand started. My second big jump was dropping out of university, going to work for an e-commerce company to learn. I don't know what it is you would want to do or you want to reach. There's probably a jump required. And are you ready to take that jump? It can be a lot of different jumps. It can be reaching out to that person that you would want to work for. It can be quitting the job that's not bringing you anything to try and find another job. There's a lot of different jumps, but are you willing to take that jump? Coming here is, for me, it's a jump. Trying to figure it out. Trying to, while I'm here, get my first clients going for Young Creative. There is no certainty, but I don't mind. I love it. This is what I want to do. So I took the jump. I want the adventure. Looking back, it will all make sense. Taking this jump is not gonna guarantee me anything. I mean, I'm gonna have to put in the work. I'm gonna have to follow my plan to get to where I want to get to, to get to the next level. But what was for certain is that if I stayed at the position I wasn't in the Netherlands, that I would never have gotten to the next level. So the jump is required to open the doors to be able to go to the next level. I wanted to discuss a little bit about my goals. I think my overarching goal is to always be in the pursuit of becoming the best version of myself because I don't think you'll ever get there. I think it's always about trying to get there. That's my long-term goal. But on the short term, I want to get rid of my money problems. I'm not really money motivated, but to be able to do the things I want to do in the upcoming years, I need money, of course. I want to go wherever I want, whenever I want, and just do everything that I want to do. So I attach the goal to that, which is 10K a month, because I think at that point, I'll be able to do whatever, whenever. And that's where I want to get to as soon as possible. So it's a short-term goal. So exchange life isn't gonna consistently get me there. And I also don't wanna live off that. I want to be able to reinvest everything from exchange life back into the brand. So I need to get it from somewhere else. And that's what Young Creatives is going to do. With monthly retainers and a service, it's a very great cash flow business. And I think I'll get there with like seven, eight clients. I think it's very doable. Hopefully at the end of this year, beginning of next year. But it's still not only money motivated. I get the question here a lot, talking to people, why don't you learn paid advertisement and start an agency around that? You're gonna make more and this and that. But the thing is, it's not only about the money. I think if you do something you like and is authentic to you, you'll get better at it, which means in the end, you'll make more money as well. But it's a product, it's not the goal. It's what comes with it if you do something good if you provide value. Exchange Life was created of my authentic experience as an exchange student, and I transformed that into a brand and community. Now I looked at what did I do for the past two years? What value can I offer to businesses? What do I like to do? What do I enjoy doing? And that's how Young Creative started. So that's kind of my reasons behind what I'm doing. These videos are also an example of that. I'm just documenting my authentic experience as a young entrepreneur. I can make Bali videos or lifestyle videos, but that's not true to me. That's not who I am. That's not what I like to do. The goal of doing this is to hopefully add anything to your journey. It's also fun for me to look back on when I get older. And I hope to connect people like this. Maybe you see my story and you're like, and you can relate and then we'll connect. And maybe they will bring us both something. But I also think in the end, it will, for instance, bring me clients for young creators because people can see my story without knowing me and they can connect with me before they even met me. So I think it will also bring clients there, but that's not the goal. That's a product of it. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm in it for the game. I like to be creative. I like to create things. I like to help people out. And I think as a result of that, because I like what I do, I put out good work, which in result will bring me money. That's like my philosophy around it. I don't think you'll get very far optimizing only for money. I think if you do the shit you love to do, you'll get very good at it and you'll always do it. So you'll probably get better at it than most people that do it for the money, which in the end will bring you more money. It's fun, but it's not the goal. That's not what I'm in it for. So let me know what you think about it. I mean, I'm still learning, so it will probably change, but right now that's kind of my philosophy around it. I got my routine pretty much going now. I go to bed at 11, I wake up at seven, get my first work done in the morning, then take a break during lunch, then I get some more work done in the afternoon. And usually I'll go out to eat at night with some people. And it's great. I mean, I can get seven, eight hours in consistently. I get more work done here than at home, to be honest, because here when I work, I focus work. And at home, I'm always behind my laptop. Here, there's really a reason to get the things done you have to get done, because then you can go out to meet people, you can you know, go to the gym, go do fun stuff. I go to the gym about 
five times a week here. It's like on the street where I work, so it's really great. I'm getting really inspired by everyone around me. Great insights by people that are already where I want to be. So, so far that has been great. First I was still kind of uncomfortable, but now I'm getting more comfortable and I'm getting more used to the way of life here. It's very different and for me it's the first time here. So it took a little while to get used to, but now I think I got it done and I can just keep going.